So to take a look at the umbrella roaming client and why would we use it? So the umbrella roaming client is pretty much um, just another method, just another method of deploying umbrella. So along with the virtual appliance, along with just po simply pointing your network to the umbrella resolvers, um, the and along with the um, the roaming client AnyConnect module, which which provides very similar functionalities to the roaming client itself. Um, essentially, they're all different deployment methods, and the um, certain deployment methods have a certain advantage over over others. So, um, so we're going to dig into that today, and we're also going to dig into some features of the roaming client. So, roaming client, what is it? Roaming client is a lightweight DNS client that runs on your computer. So, currently, either your Mac OS or your um, Windows operating system. Um, as it only works on them two at the moment and essentially what it does is it enables off network security so as you can see by this illustration here we've got um, a laptop here so we've got Melissa here and Melissa is sitting in a coffee shop now there is one significant issue Melissa has forgot to put her her lid on her coffee which means it's going to get cold but apart from that Melissa is you using her laptop in this uh, in this coffee shop and she's still protected by by Cisco umbrella because she's utilizing the umbrella roaming client so how so so after installation of the roaming client the roaming client binds itself to the local host so that's 127.0.0.1 the roaming client overrides the device's dns settings to the local host so you can kind of see what's happening here. Now, the local host then listens on port 53. So port 53 is where DNS requests are sent to. And, and, and the DNS resolution is now handled by the operating system. So we'll be careful with, with this last, uh, last sentence. We don't mean that it's resolved by the computer. We mean that it's handled by the operating system. So, so we'll come to that. We'll come to what that means. So we'll come to that. Um, and then additionally, so these two last points are concerned with domain management, which we'll come to. So it stores the old con DNS configuration. So this is what the roaming client does in a file known as resolve.conf. If, 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 um, uh, if you've seen that file, you'll know where it is. And then it downloads the internal domains list from the cloud. So the internal domains list, um, I'll be making another video on what in turn, what the domain management function on the umbrella dashboard does but for now I'm assuming that you know that uh, so ultimately this is what the roaming client processes to intercept DNS queries are okay so we have the roaming client here uh, installed on this client so when the client wants to resolve for an internal domain because remember we said it downloaded that internal domains list from the cloud it knows that it knows to send that query to the local DNS server so that's one feature that's one feature of of uh, of the roaming the roaming client so for internal domains it ensures the client is pointing to the local DNS server for external domains um, th th those that we wish to bypass then it by then uh, they can bypass they bypass the secure web gateway and and connect directly to the destination now another feature of that the the roaming client enables is uh, user-based policies and this is because the client now so when it's resolving to umbrella so we're referring to this um referring to this flow here then it's it's sending a unique identifier that's identifying the client so with that we can configure specific policies that wrote this roaming client let's call it roaming client a so roaming client a is only allowed to access or is not allowed to access news websites is not allowed to access web um, gaming websites so we can configure user-based policies because it's sending a unique identifier in this flow here and that's not the case when you point when you point your network to umbrella because there's nothing specific that's that's um that could indicate that it's one 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 device one roaming client so that's it for this video um hope you enjoyed that hope you benefited um there's probably a lot more to talk about but that is from the research that i've gathered so far thank you very much